Welcome to Maryland Coast Adventures. I'm Dawn Eman, your host, and we're here today at Duffy Boatworks. After that, we're going to head to Fishtails to go out on the water. I'm here with John Duffy, and he's going to show us all around Duffy Boatworks and everything they have, have to offer in order to make a boat. Welcome to Maryland's Coast Adventures, brought to you by Worcester County, Maryland's coast naturally cool, and by Ocean City, Maryland, somewhere to smile about. What we're doing is we're standing on top of the strong back that we use to construct our hulls. So the very first thing we do is get this deck level, clean, get a nice working platform. Then you can see all these pieces of plywood that are laying around right now. So what we're doing is we're starting to assemble the fixture for a 66 footer. So you can see the big piece of the boat that's laying on the deck here. That's actually the engine bulkhead. Uh, then all these different pieces of plywood, we put those together, it's a giant puzzle, and then we'll assemble them and set them up and that becomes our fixture for the hull. So that's, we don't use a mold. The way we build our boats, it's, it's cold molded wooden boat construction. So we'll set up our jig or our fixture, then we'll laminate clear Douglas fir for the keel, the stringers, the chines. We'll install the bulkheads, then we'll shape all that lumber down to fit the fixture and then we will plank the shell of the boat with three layers of Akumi plywood. Then we'll fiberglass it. Then we use different fairing compounds, different primers, and then we'll top coat that. So basically the entire hull is hand built. Every piece of the boat is hand built, hand shaped. There's no, I mean, we use some hand tools, electric hand tools, but pretty much everything's just hand shaped. The old way of doing it was you built the hull, then you climbed inside the hull and you built all the pieces from the bottom of the boat up and you just started assembling the boat and then you would build the bow deck and then you'd build the cabin on top of that and then the flybridge on top of that. I'm trying to modularize the construction of a custom sport fishing boat more like what you would see in a production boat line. So we still build, every boat is completely unique to the other, but we build big components and then assemble it. So we build the hull there, we have the bow deck for the 59 here, the, actually the cabin and the flybridge and the helm are sitting out front then that's another flybridge for the 66 behind it. So we're building these big components. We have the fuel tanks already sitting there. That way, once you have all the components built, then you can assemble the boat. It makes it easier on us. And I think it uh, speeds the process up because it is a very time consuming process. John, how did you get into building boats? So when I was a little kid, you know, my family's always been fishing out of Ocean City and fishing all over the world. and. Uh, I just loved everything that went into designing them and drawing them. So when I was really little, I would draw boats like endlessly, just in every notebook in school all day long. I was drawing boats, drawing you were fish. Paying attention to the teacher, you're drawing Sometimes boats. pay attention. <laughs> uh, so I loved the creativity that goes into the design work on these. Um, growing up, working on the docks and working on fishing boats, and then traveling and running the boat myself for 20 years, being a captain for 20 years. You fix everything on the boat because I don't care how nice the boat is or how new it is, something's going to break. That's just what boats do. Right. So I, I got really proficient at keeping the boat running and doing all the maintenance. And, uh, you know, I was lucky enough that when we were building a new boat to fish on, the Bill Fisher, we would build a Bill Fisher down in North Carolina. I would go down there and I would work in the shop with the guys at that shop. So that's how I learned the trade. And on the last one we built down there, I was like, you know what, next time I'm just going to build the boat myself. So, uh, of course, everyone was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I built a small boat in my garage, and then I built a 26-footer. And while I was building the 26-footer, I designed a 64-footer. And as soon as I started building the 64-footer, I, I ran out of room. I was building the flybridge and the, and the cabin house, and I needed a bigger place to build the hull, so I built a pole barn next to the garage and then built the hull in that. And while I was building the hull, uh, we started designing this building. And, you know, the whole boat, the, this whole building was designed just for the sole purpose of building custom sport fishing boats and doing it in an efficient manner. So that's why we have our gantry crane system, you know, built in. We have radiant heated floors. So obviously the doors, you know, Schweiss bifold doors to be able to get the boats outside and get them to the marina. I'll take you upstairs, we'll go to the design room, we'll show you how we design the boats, and then we'll come down, see the CNC router where we cut the parts out, and then we'll climb up and look inside of the different hulls at various stages of construction. Sounds good. So let's go up top. Be sure to follow Maryland's Coast Adventures on Facebook and Instagram to keep up with the latest adventures. 
Just search Maryland's Coast Adventures and join in the fun. Book your next trip in beautiful Maryland's coast. Stroll the downtown streets and enjoy shopping locally in Pocomoke City, Snow Hill, and Berlin. Dine at farm-to-table restaurants or enjoy the nightlife throughout Ocean City. Looking for outdoor adventure? Reserve your tea time at one of the 17 championship golf courses. Take a ride through Astigue Island National Seashore to view the wild ponies or camp in the Pocomoke River State Forest. Visit the serene landscape and be immersed in nature throughout Worcester County, Maryland. Start planning your trip today. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. Visit Secrets Jamaica, USA, where it feels like the tropics all year long. Enjoy delicious happy hour drink specials from 4 to 7 and nightly food specials Thursday and Sunday. Then get ready for the perfect night out. Home to the Morley Hall nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Secrets, 49th Street and the Bay, Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. So this is a scaled down model of how we would build a boat hull. This is the 64 footer, which is the Bill Fisher. This mm -hmm. is just a scaled down version of the hull. So wow. you can see all the different parts and pieces that fit into it. So you assemble this and then all these notches where you lay your lumber in, your keel, your stringers, your chine here, this is your shear clamp. And then you would shape that lumber down to fit this and then you'll plank over it. And that gives you the shape of the hull. Then once you have the hull built and fared and it's ready to pop off the jig and flip over, you would cut all these plywood frames out and get rid of them and all that would stay is the bulkheads, the running gear surfaces, and the hull plating. Okay. What we do is we design the boat, we place all the equipment, Coleman does a, a weight estimate and we try to place all the equipment so that the boat doesn't list, so that it trims correctly. The nice thing is we can you know, look at it in a rendered 3D model and we can figure out if we have enough room to work on everything, if everything is in a functional, functional spot. Uh, just make sure it looks good, you know, that it's aesthetically pleasing even though it's a machinery space. So we'll design the entire boat like this and we'll, we'll actually go to each vendor or each, uh, you know, equipment manufacturer and we'll download their CAD file for all the equipment so that we can properly place it. And that way, when we give our team members here that build the boats, the drawings, they can see what it's supposed to look like when it's done. And we can give them, it just helps so much to have a drawing of what you're building. You know, you just hand somebody a bunch of parts and no, no good plan. And right. uh, you never know how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. So this just streamlines the process. Yeah. So from this, we can look at the running trim of the boat. We can watch as the boat comes on plane, see where the spray pattern is. We'll look at the bottom of the boat and see where the high pressure and low pressure areas are uh, in the propeller pockets, or we'll look at the stagnation line, which is the, where the water is breaking on the you know, bottom of the boat and then where it parts on the chine. So we can extrapolate a lot of data from that. You know, we'll, There's our low pressure and high pressure. We have the trim tabs down in this model. You can see the high pressure area on the trim tabs. So that's gonna force the bow down, which you can see the running trim on this is at two degrees. So it's running really bow down right there. You know, guys that have been in the boat building business for decades, they have a lot of boats under their belt that they've built that, they can, that they've tested on. For us, we were trying to jump into the market and be competitive right out of the gate. So by having these guys and the way we do everything on the computer and being able to do CFD testing has really sped that process up. We Thank joke God. around all the time that we've only finished two big boats but we're on like iteration seven of the boats. Like we, every day we're up here and we're like, oh, you know what we gotta try? Let's do this. Where's our little uh, graph of how many different tests we ran on the 64. So all of these graphs, that's how many different trials and uh -huh. little tweaks we made to the 64, to the Bill Fisher. Yeah. From our original bottom, which original bottom is the gray up here mm -hmm. to the as built, new strakes down here. So that's showing the vessel trim 
And this is showing the resistance of the boat. So you can see the gray is all the way at the top and the red is basically at the bottom. So doing all that on the computer and then actually doing it on the boat in real life and getting the data to follow and to prove that the computer is accurate enough that you can make a change on the computer and get it to make a change in the real world is, mm -hmm. it's really amazing. Cool. So is that getting you on plane faster? Yeah, it's, it's increasing, you know, it's decreasing the, the rise in the trim of the boat when it's coming on plane and also it's lowering resistance. So resistance is speed, you know. Right. So the lower the resistance, the higher the speed. Is your is, is the software good enough that as you're, desi as you're designing it, it gives you the error message to say, hey, maybe you need no. to improve this or that? <laughs> no. Do you have to do that? No. <laughs> that, sometimes we have some, I have some ideas that these guys are like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is our in-house CNC router. Uh, we cut as many of the parts and pieces of the boat as we can right here. It all gets designed upstairs. They nest it upstairs. They, you know, come up with the, the way to cut out the parts and pieces, the most efficient way so that we don't have any waste. And then we bring it down here, comes onto this computer. They program the CNC router and cut it out. And then we give it to the guys to assemble. So like here's a typical pump lid, like pump shelf lid that we would build because we want everything to be really strong, but we also want it to be lightweight. So we use a urethane tooling board perimeter. Then we use a foam core in the center. Then we actually bury these pieces of solid fiberglass in there. And then we fiberglass over that. So this whole lid, you know, will be really, well, it's not glued together yet, obviously, which, but the whole thing maybe weighs three or four pounds like this. Then when we fiberglass it, it'll get a little heavier. And then we use as little fairing compound as we can on it. But it's a lid that'll never rot. It'll hold the screws really well forever. Uh, it's just a, you know, really durable way to build something. If you want your trade-in to be worth more down the road, then shop Toyota, the best resale value brand according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com for the third year in a row. On a $45,000 vehicle, see how these Toyotas are predicted to be worth thousands more than the average vehicle after the first five years of ownership. That's performance you can count on. Shop local inventory on buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome to the original Green Turtle in Ocean City, a neighborhood favorite with a mouth-watering menu, the best bar in town, a huge game room, plus the apparel and gift shop. There's nothing like the original, the original Green Turtle in Ocean City. Let's sit down to the turtle again tonight. So this will be the cockpit of the boat. The fighting chair will be mounted here. This is where every, you know, this is where the action happens. So we built a, a wooden hull. The boats are all wood, the hulls. But, you know, you don't want to anymore. There's so many great composite materials. You don't want to build the entire boat out of wood because we're trying to save weight. I mean, you know, within reason, it, it's never going to be light when it's this big, but, uh, we built a composite structure on top. The decks are all composite, so all these decks are two-inch core cell. The entire mezzanine, all this seating area, this is all foam, composite, fiberglass over. The entire cabin structure on this boat only weighed 5,500 pounds. You would think, now the hull was 27,000, but we save a lot of weight in the top side with the foam structure. Now we're coming inside here. This will be the salon. 
when the boat's completed, this is where the galley will be and the settee and the dinette, wet bar. This is where the entertaining happens. So you can see we're in the process of finishing out the showers. We're installing furniture. This will be a master state, a primary stateroom. This is day head. Another bunk room here. This will be all tackle storage. Another primary stateroom here. Crew quarters forward with another head. So this boat is four staterooms, four heads. We're in the engine room right now. And this boat's powered with 16 cylinder MTU diesel engines. Each one of these engines produces 2,635 horsepower. Then it has two 30 kW Northern Lights generators. This boat will hold 3,400 gallons of diesel fuel, 550 gallons of potable fresh water. Uh, it'll have the ability to make its own fresh water from seawater. Uh, it has a Sea Keeper 26 in the back, so that's an anti-roll gyro that keeps the boat from rocking and rolling too much oh, while you're fishing. I makes like it that. even nicer. Then when it gets seasick. To, to fight the seasickness. So this kind of gives you an idea for how the hull would look once you flip it over and fiberglass the interior as well. So before you, you know, paint the exterior and paint the interior, it's just raw fiberglass. We try to keep it really nice and tidy and neat and clean. So you can see what kind of fiberglass work we're trying to accomplish here. Over here, we're just starting fiberglassing the cabin of the 66. So you can see the core cabin, that's made of uh, I-80 core cell, which is a four pound density closed cell foam. Then we'll apply two layers of 1700 biaxial cloth to that. Once it's glassed on the outside, we'll glue the fly bridge onto it. Then we'll cut the fixture out of the inside and fiberglass the whole inside of the shell as well. So right now we're in the engine room of the 59 and we're in the process of building out the pump shelves and machinery spaces. The water tank's already built. The sea chests are in. This is all getting tabbed together to make it a monolithic structure. Uh, then we'll build out the shelf inside there where we're going to mount our pumps and through hulls. Then we'll put the lid on it, put the battery boxes in here and start fairing this out. The pink material you see is all fair. It's a epoxy fairing compound. So once we get it all constructed, we'll fair it out, get it painted, get the motors in this baby. What about apparel? Where do you sell apparel? Uh, so is that the gift wife? shop is, is upstairs. It? No, I'm kidding. There's no <laughs> gift shop. Uh, Cause people actually, do ask Shelby. Me about that. So if you want any kind of Duffy Boat Works apparel, um, we've started actually a new line last year. Um, we have a full Duffy Boat Works website available online, DuffyBoatWorks.com. Um, if you go to the shop page, there's a full online store there that you are, can access any kind of apparel that we have currently, and we ship it right to your house. Well, yeah. thank you so thank much, you. Sean and Shelby. Yes, ma'am. I know everybody enjoyed it, or amazed at everything I learned today. It was a wealth of information. Like Josh said, his head is still spinning because we're letting it all sink in. <laughs> and congrats to a huge, you know, successful business here in Ocean City, close to, you know, where you live and where you fish. Yes. Yep. Thanks again to John Duffy at Duffy's Boat Works. We're headed over to Fish Tales now to check out Christmas in July, then go on the water with the Tipsy Tiki. So stay tuned. Whatever the season, you'll surely have the time of your life in Ocean City. Golfers will find 17 area championship golf courses, including Ocean City's own Eagles Landing. Ocean City Golf Club features a totally redesigned and rebuilt Newport Bay course. Rum Point overlooks Assateague Island National Seashore and the Cinepuxet Bay. Lighthouse Sound offers a great variety in terms of both its great visual excitement and strategy. The newest addition to the Ruark Golf family is the Glen Riddle Golf Club. Baywood Greens offers golfers the most scenic and spectacular golf on the Delmarva Peninsula. Delaware's premier golf course is the Bayside Resort Golf Club. Bear Trap Dunes Golf Club offers one of the area's most unique and memorable golf experiences on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the Delmarva Peninsula's only championship golf course designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones Sr. Ocean City, Maryland. Great golf is just the beginning.
Maryland's coast is truly unique and you're invited to stay here and explore everything there is to see and do. Get ready to go on an adventure to view the wild ponies of Assateague Island National Seashore. Be immersed by beauty at the various art galleries. Book your tea time at one of the 17 championship golf courses or visit the downtown areas to indulge in delicious food and shopping local. Book your next trip today at visitmarylandscoast.org. Welcome back to Maryland Coast Adventures. I'm Dawn Eamon, your host, and we made it over to Fishtails. I'm here with Sean Harmon. There's something special going on here today. Sean, you want to tell me all about it? Well, first of all, thank you for coming, Dawn, and uh, we appreciate, you know, just you guys showing up. It's Christmas in July. It's our 23rd Christmas in July. Uh, a lot of other people are doing it now, but we, we started with the Y2K, so. We're getting ready to go on the cruise in Tiki Ocean City right over here. And Sean, how many years have they been operating? No, I want to say it's about seven right now. So. You were the first to bring them to Ocean yeah, City? Yeah, it's a franchise. Okay. Um, and, we, and we got it. Um, my wife Donna saw it in, in Key West suggested we do it we did it it's taken off pretty well and now there's a lot of imitators yeah i see them floating all around the bay on the weekends bachelorette parties girls day out golfers going out but, you, but basically you rent a captain and a boat and uh you bring your own alcohol or whatever you want to drink and bring okay. snacks okay and we drive you around the, however long two hours or three hours okay and how do you go about booking something like that? You can book that online if you go to bahiamarina.com and it says book your adventure. It'll bring you right to that or you can call a tackle shop. Fantastic. And I overheard somebody say you've been open 40 years now? The marina is 53 years. Okay. And fishtails is 40 years. Fif yeah, fishtails. And they if, said there that. if there wasn't the marina, there'd be no fishtails. So that's where you started. And I remember when it was really small. And now you've expanded and bring my kids here for years and get to enjoy the playground. I that. Yeah, love it here. So I'm super excited. We get to go out on the cruise in Tiki, cruise around the bay. It's a beautiful day here in Ocean City. And thanks, Sean, for letting us give it a try just on the so Tiki. So you know, it's the most photographed boat on the water. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Good to know. All right, can't wait to get out there. Gotta take a little bit of Let's do shots. Come on, let's do shots. Let's do, let's do a right out of glass. Come on. Too early for that? Too early for that. It'd be good on television. All right. <laughs> Let's see. 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 Let's Mike, he is the captain of our boat tonight. And Mike, how often do you do this? So currently I run about four to five nights a week. Or five, That's all right. Four to five days a week, um, but cruising tickets run seven days a week. All right. And do you see a lot of girls trips, a lot of you know, family gatherings? We get a little bit of everything. We get bachelorette parties, we get bachelor parties. Um, Proposals, anniversaries, birthdays, um, even sometimes you get the kids' birthdays and bring them out. Where do you usually head? Any certain course or just wherever the wind blows you? Actually, um, our sandboard trip, we go over to the sandboard, it's over by Hoopers. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll take trips up past Secrets, um, show people around up that, that end. I'm um, pretty much anywhere in the bay. The boats aren't fast, so it's more of a relaxing cruise. And Sean shared it was either two or three hours, right? You know. Yep, we do one three-hour trip, which is one to four, and that's our sandbar trip. The other three trips are the two-hour trips. All right. Well, I look forward to tonight, and you also can catch it right at sunset too. It's really pretty. Tonight we're a little bit early for that, but the water is nice and calm right here. We're still kind of moving out, and I'm excited to see the basically ocean city from a different perspective, the water. I love it. I thought it was going to be boring. It's not. It's amazing. It is. It is. 
planning to get buzzed, but now that it's happening. I didn't think I'd like this. I love it. I've seen it. I've never been on it. This is my first. Did everybody have a great time? Oh my gosh, awesome. so Fantastic. much fun. We'll definitely be going out on Tiki Boat soon. Thank you We all. love fishtails. <laughs>great day we had first checking out duffy's boat works then here at fishtails and heading out on a tiki boat to check out the bay a wonderful day thanks to sean Harmon here at fishtails and john duffy for the opportunities until next time i'm dawn Eamon. thanks for watching maryland's coast adventures brought to you by worcester county maryland's coast naturally cool and by ocean city maryland somewhere to smile about